Hello there, person. Let's check out what's new making the game Wraith Binder. This has been, oh man, quite a week. Aesthetically, I've been focusing on these, uh, let's start with the aesthetics here, actually. This is kind of crazy where, with this area. Um, turn that off. We'll go to this and show you what's been improved here. Um, I was noticing this week, a couple days ago, I was like, gosh, what is so ugly about this video game? There's, it's, everything was just crazy. Um, but now things are a lot better. Check this out. There's a lot of depth going on in these, uh, if you look at the, the bottom of each ground block, it's got a nice depth to it. Really, really high contrast versus the background and dark, deep colors. And we've got a lot of variation going on when when you look at uh, we start moving around a little bit. You see some deep purples, and then you get closer, and you got some nice dark grays. Uh, but it just really feels good there. And then the background clouds also have been improved, so that they have a nice. They're not too saturated. Um, the the dither effect is got looking a little bit nicer. And then the background gradient is also looking really nice. And also the blur has been improved, so that the blur doesn't. Um, cause these sort of edges to happen when you're when a blur when a pixel is or a voxel is blurred um, at the edge of the screen it uh, or at the edge of where it would be connected to something transparent um, they they look a lot better basically the the where wherever it um, wherever a voxel touches something that's transparent it just looks a lot better um, so these has been massively improved here and then also i went and worked on the other art style let's go to that one um we're just going to change the art style from map practice to style b and you can see that there's also a nice really nice looking depth going on with the bottom sprites look at that this is looking awesome the what i'm talking about is the sprites that are underneath the ground these long stretching uh dark um columns you could call them uh that are stretching down into the sh into the clouds they're also looking really really solid and weighty you know there's a nice weight to things when you see these nice deep colors going on in that contrast the nicer lighter colors in the foreground uh so so that is also looking really really good so let's look at what's been um improved functionally this week um there's Got to work on the aesthetics here as well. As well, but functionally, the uh, the systems are now in place so that you can go fulfill a mission, do something um, with with uh, your world, or go go participate in some battle, and then you get to come back to this area here where you can get some rewards. So um, this is what I'm talking about. The aesthetics here really need to be worked on uh, for this dock area where you're docking your ship but um, functionally this is working really well so you hold this here and you can open up these doors and you can go into this mission here where your this mission is your training mission where you're gonna go and uh, learn about all your abilities what the heck oh, I messed something up crazy there huh what's the, oh it might be stop oh hold on Let's do this. Let's make sure these are using style character B. What was that? Map training, map training, ship, both these. Let's make sure they're using style character B. Let's try that again. So the purpose here is that you go, um, you can move your ship between worlds. We're using the helm right here. Right? So we're gonna, we can, sh we can, warp the ship to different planets and then you can come over here once you've landed at a planet you go and you can enter the battle and all that so here we are we're gonna go up and enter this world here where we can do some training and uh, let's say we went through this training world and we got all the items and did all the things um, let's I'm gonna pretend like we actually were victorious here use a cheat code And so after this, you're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to that dock area, 
and into a different part of the dock area where we can open up a big chest and gain some rewards. So, uh, so this is where we would open up this big chest. Boom, and out comes some experience and some gold credits. So you got these some new experience and some gold credits, and you can go back to your ship. You know, functionally, you would well, visually, this really, really needs some huge improvement. Functionally, too, um, because this bridge is totally uh, hidden. But that bridge, too. We'll need to work on this. There's a lot, a lot of work to do, basically, uh, left here. It's just a, basically a kind of a rough draft. But you come back to your ship, and you can use this light mint. <laughs> Whoops. Got to work on that, too. Didn't test that very well. Yep. Oh, still doing it. We got to do this thing called a gobble. Oh, well. But anyways, you would go there to your light menu and you would upgrade all your abilities and your uh, your attributes and things like that. And you can also spend your credits here at the forge where you can uh, get different swords and cloaks and all these fun stuff. So um, there you have it. Really some, some, um, some big things in the process here. Give this another week and we'll have this, uh, this whole dock area looking a lot better and functioning a lot better. And uh, we'll have some cool rewards here inside this. There's, you're also going to be able to get coordinates to different planets. So you start off with just the coordinates to this training world. And then once you go to this training world, you're gonna, the coordinates are going to pop out here to a different planet where you can do some PvP battles. So this is all tying the whole world together into something cohesive and making this a really... It's making it into a, an actual video game now. Where before it was just sort of like a, um, an alpha version testing out the the pvp battles which are really great we haven't i haven't even showed you any of the pvp battles in this uh this little short video here uh but um yeah tying it all together we've got this ship we've got these training worlds we've got this pvp battles and tying it all together with these rewards from the big chest and being able to upgrade your character between battles and missions it's all coming together so it's really exciting so thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.